All right, in this last uh, video on the roster if file, I'm going to show you how to edit it with hexon steroids and the profiles I've provided through the NLSC. Um, so I've already gone to the online data downloads, right click to the roster if that was there, and uh, put in my modified or whatever one you want to throw in there and just read only it. So the game does not load this one. It does not like that one. It's not going to load it. We don't have to worry about that. The game is only going to load this roster if file right here, which is actually the default one. As you can see, I have my sleeved and uh, Midnight Ballers one, all this stuff. This is just the default one that we're going to work with. Um, so let's go over to our tools and load up Hexon Steroids. Under Profiles, now to, uh, to install profiles, you should go over this. Uh, you go to Documents, Hexon Steroids, Profiles, and then it depends on the folder and everything. So I have under Rosters all of these different profiles. If I go in here, Profiles, Rosters, I got all these different profiles. Now the ones with IDs are based off of the in-game, not the in-game, the in-roster ID. So Rondo is ID number 65 um, and everyone else on the Celtics is around those 60s like that. So let's say we want to change some ratings. Now let's go to ratings names, why not? And we can open up the roster if file. Make sure it's decompressed first. That's going to load up a lot of data because this is a lot here. And I'm going to preemptively open up Calc or Excel, whatever you want to do. So these are all of the ratings in NBA 2K14 for these players. And I have a list in the uh, roster if editing f uh, f uh, forum thread in the NLSC forums. So as you can see, this is based on a 255 point scale. It goes from 0 to 255. That is not how it works in game. Um, we, you know, we, we're used to the 0 through 100 scale. So to convert that, let's take Kobe's ratings right here. Let's take a couple of them. It doesn't really matter. Let me go ahead and paste them into Excel. To go from these values to normal ratings, we have to first take this value, divide it by 3, and then add 25 to it. And now we can see that uh, you know this is, these are all Kobe's ratings. I don't know which one's which off the top of my head. Like I said, there's a list to say which row is which rating. And then if you want to take this rating and go back, so let's say we make edits and we make Kobe Bryant suck. <laughs> so these are Kobe's new ratings. <laughs> to go from these ratings back to what needs to be put back into the file, you go this times three minus 75, a little bit of algebra there. And then I can take these and copy and paste them back in here and then go ahead and press save and roster if. Yep. So save it. Fantastic. We can go in game. If we want to check out our new edits, we go to options, reset roster. It'll load up that roster and we can go to options, manage rosters, go over and uh, check out Mr. Kobe Bryant's new amazing ratings, edit player, and they go by, no, attributes. So as you can see, it's got these nice 60 point uh, <laughs> ratings littered all around. So let's go back home. Now, let's say I want to change the Celtics home uniform to the sleeved uniform that we saw. That, that's in the game now. So we go to rosters and let's load up the uh, jersey type profile. Go ahead and press open. Go to the roster if and open it up. Now with this one, I have labeled all of the columns to the uniform that it uses. This is just something I whipped up quick. I did it manually. There's no automatic way to do it. Now I know that RA5006 is the um, nautical, <laughs> I guess it is, called sleeved alternate for the Clippers. So we just got to find that first. And R5A006. This top column right here is what chooses what type of uniform it is. So it's 142. That's what gets us a sleeved uniform. So let's find the Celtics home, which is UH05 right there, and type 142. Go ahead and save this. Go back into the game. Options, reset roster, boom. 
Now we have a sleeved uniform for the Celtics, as hideous and blasphemous that may be. And let's go ahead and just make sure we don't load up a demo. Next up, let's load up a profile for Cyberface IDs. We'll go with names. And we can go ahead and open up again the roster if file. Now we can go through and find uh, Mr. Rajon Rondo somewhere. Should be right over here. Right there, Rajan Rondo. So remember, we can't change skin tone, so the legs will still be the Rajan Rondo's um, skin tone, but we can change the cyber face. So if you can match up what cyber face you want to have, or if you want to have an alternate cyber face for, Ron for Rondo in a different roster, this is one way you can do it. Um, let's do 2353. I think that is the one I want to use. Let me go ahead and press save, roster, if. Thank you very much. Go through and reload that. Ta-da! Now we have Jay Leno as Rajon Rondo. That is the most disturbing facial expression you could have, I think. <laughs> oh, the terrible things we can do to this game. So yeah, um... It's basically how it works for all these. I went over how to do ratings. The portrait ID and the ASA ID are the same as the cyber faces. Um, the height and weight, that's pretty self-explanatory, I think. Uh, jersey type and undershirts, that's kind of, you know, very specific. So, yeah. Um, if you guys have questions about how to do this, some of this stuff, I'm more than willing to try to help out. But this is like a band-aid over a gaping wound, I guess is the best way to put it. I'd say it's more like a crutch, whereas like Red MC would be a wheelchair. Um, it, we're, we're not ready for full-blown roster mods yet, but it is kind of sort of possible if you know what you're doing. So I hope this helps, and I will see you guys in the next video.